put in place. And let's just get the bishop out here. So I'm feeling really happy and comfortable with where we're at with our chess at the moment as well, with all the things that we've been doing to try and improve it in its own little way. It's coming for this pawn here. May as well just bring the bishop back. Don't overthink that. So we're not doing anything egregiously wrong at all. And as I've looked at the games that have maybe slightly disadvantaged, we've managed to find ways to either make it look like we're doing something half decent and or uh, we're gaining advantages. So it's all in all, it's pretty good. And I'm really enjoying the games. Even if I'm playing against strong, strong opposition type thing, I'm still enjoying the game because I've taken them to the wire. Let's take here. Nice doubling of the pawns. It's going for the bishop attack. Could bring our bishop back in line. Let's castle. Sorry, the pawn's back in line, not the bishop back in line. So now our bed's sorted in the sense of our king's got castled. Fairly happy with that. So I'm going to bring their rook into the centre of the board and then attack it with the queen. Gives them something to think about defending the pawn at the same time. So a brief moment of time won, in a sense. But it's nothing major. Queen's defending. So going to x-ray through to the knight, maybe double the pawns in front of the king if the knight stays there. So the queen's kind of overworking itself, defending the rook now, so maybe the rook's going to move. But then it's thinking, do I want my pawns doubled in front of my king? So do we get the knight out somehow? I'm going to have to bring it back if we're going to move it. It's blocking the transition for the rook. So the king's move, so they're wanting to double the pawn, so the rook's coming facing here, facing down to our king. Do we want that? I'm going to take. So they've taken, now we can potentially attack this pawn. Obviously the king, and, yeah, king can come and defend, or the queen comes to defend. They might forget that they're protecting the rook, you never know. Um, let's see, shall we go for it? I'm going to attack the pawn because it's got a direct link into the king. And the rook's coming down, like we said, facing off here. So we'll get the check on the king first. And we can take this pawn. But he's looking to double up here, which is easily defended, I suppose, here. Let's take this pawn. Yep, so his rook can't move anyway because he's got jammed in. So we don't really need to panic too much about defending this area. So is there anything else that we can do in the meantime? A rook could come and attack the pawn. Yep, so let's go and attack the pawn because this can't do anything at the minute. So this is probably going to come. Yep, so that drops. So it's taken away the sting from that area. So if they won a moment of time, in, in a sense, in order to get this pawn, they probably have. Now that I'm thinking about it. But it's all in the rook. Yep, so the rook puts the check on, then the king can move. It's not the queen, so it's not going to be a checkmate type thing. So again... Don't think we need to worry too much about that. So we could come here with our queen. Rook comes down, puts a check on. We move the king out of the way. He decides to come down again. We go here. Queen probably comes here with a check. Can probably push the pawn on. Is there anything else? I bet there's a small move I can do, such as taking the pawn. It looks like they've left the game. Yep, so we can claim victory on that. So it was nice talking that one through um, because I thought the pawn was protected. 
And it's weird how your brain does think that sometimes that you think, well, oh, that piece is protected or the knight's jumped into a place where it's not actually protected, but it's within a cluster of pawns. So we can take and we still got that um, diagonal through. Just to make sure, shall we just have a look? Where's the analysis? Oh, claim victory on that, sorry. Let's have a look at the analysis and see how that's going. Yeah, plus 4.6. So, yep, good to actually talk and maintaining a nice attacking process as well. Also looking on my back end, making sure that I'm covered and not, not getting blindsided and not wasting any energy over going for a protection when basically the piece cannot actually do any damage. Interesting game. Mm -hmm. So fifteen ten. Let's see what practice we've got today. Just bring the knight out, push the pawn up, push onto the knight. Let's take the knight. I've seen that quite a few times actually. This type of thing. Um, the proposed to take back. I'm actually going to say no because there's no take backs in the games that we play. Don't want to get used to the element of people taking pieces back. I'm going to develop the bishop, just attacking the weak pawn here. Knight can't get in anywhere to attack that. But it feels promising. Do have a check on the king. Let's castle. So now we've got an x-ray through to the king. That's not too bad. So on the king's side, they're actually pushing forward with their pawns. Do we ignore it or shall we use our experience and say, no, we should block it off? Or do we need to develop our pieces out? Let's get the... I don't really like this pawn being here so i'm actually going to do this because of the diagonal this is what we do we like to blunt the bishop let's get this knight out my poor dark square bishop i probably did that a little bit too early that's okay get the knight out but then he's got a fork here he doesn't have the fork now so we could get the knight out well was i thinking of it going giving my king some company, but his pawn is going to be here. Smaller piece attacking the higher piece. Let's just hit the bishop. Don't overcomplicate it. And let's get this knight to a more acceptable position. And the bishop wants to give some company. Pawn's just going to drop. Gets hit again. And then gets trapped. So we'll have to come here. So that's not going to work, is it really? Can the knight sit in here? Same principle there, but then when that happens, we can get a fork on the rook. So we're going to go with the knight here, baiting the pawn to attack it. Oh, the pawn can't move, sorry. Oh, <laughs> the pawn can't move. Oh, we're not going to get the fork now, then are we? We're going to have to move the bishop so that it can do. So this pawn, it's got no protection on it, and we can take with the bishop so we'll take so you could do the bishop and the knight for a rook situation but i don't think i'm wearing them apples so he's gonna need to try and get rid of either the bishop or the knight which he's doing now he's got a two on one there so the pawn could come up to support Let's push the pawn to support, see what happens. Just hit the queen. Remembering this pawn can't come down, so the queen's going to have to have a go here or here. So we take the queen. And they proposed another take back, and I'll say no. And they've resigned. Nice game.